And we're live back at it again with this Mass Effect Trilogy Let's Play playthrough. <laughs> A little bit of remembrance and getting ready for Mass Effect Andromeda that's releasing in, I believe, under five days at this point. Uh, I forgot what today was. All right, today is a beautiful Thursday, March 16th. Here we are again, Mass Effect 3, Part 2. Let's get this started, and remember, my name is Zeus Free Omega, and I'm here to bring you a good show. <laughs> Intro, tell me what works, what doesn't, but let's resume this playthrough. We've been waiting enough. Well... It took us some time to get through uh, Mass Effect 2 because uh, I love the story. And uh, it was just one of the great games. But this one takes the cake. I believe where we left off, we're giving a little bit of a... Uh, Information: We have a Cerberus lab we could head to, uh, the Citadel. What, what? I can't remember what was the Citadel. We also got uh, information from um, the Turians to get the Primarch or Primarch. Always have trouble with that. And we also have a chance to recover a Prothean artifact. Uh, let's see. Where should we start? Where should we start? Uh. We could go for the Primark. We could pick up Garrus or go to the Citadel. I think I'm at the Citadel. I haven't left yet. We could go for the Cerberus Lab. Let me adjust the volume. It's a little low. All right, let's go rescue the Primark. Then we could do the side missions. What just popped up? Search and rescue the normal is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can de uh, detect objects of interest using or use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, each time the, the pulse is used, the chance the reapers will show. Enter the system and investigate in... Investigate is increased, okay. If the reefer enters the systems, you you are in fleet and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Okay. So we gotta use this sparingly. Try to get multiple planets at once. Let's see how we are we in fuel. We good on fuel? How come my tanks bank to a uh, thousand? I had a uh, extended tanks last time. I think. This is, let's see. Is there more to the this system? Before we land on the moon and pick up the primer, let's check out the other ones. Well, I just got all my fuel back. A little bit more fuel. What's on the planet? Found the 79th flotilla. Not bad. I think that's all we could get from here. Found 100% assets and recovered uh, everything in the this sector of the dam.
We're lucky one burst got all that stuff. This is where you gotta be more careful. Try and get a wide area. Come on, I just did one pulse and it just gave me that much of alertness. Signal confirmed. Battle banner of the first regiment, not bad. Sony. I think that's fuel. Can't catch me, Reapers. You can't catch me. <laughs> All right. At least I can spam it in here. It's Palavan. Palavan. Let's go to the moon. Apparently, we would have Liar and James since Ashley got critically crit. Uh, I can't even say, say critical anymore. There we go. Critically injured in the last uh, last episode. Oh, I forgot I had the the outfits in this one. Standard. What about James? Let's see about the weapon loadout. I think it may have to change my loadout. Because I am running an infiltrator class. I got the Cerberus Harrier on and I got the Raptor. What other ones do we have? I can go Valiant. I'll try this. Apparently, I used last time. Uh, let's change James. Get on the Matic. Shotgun, we'll see.
We'll get them all N7 tricked out with a Valkyrie and the Crusader. Liara. Sorry, I had to choose all these weapons. I'm trying to remember what I used to play with them. Uh, what was a good one? I do love the, the Talon. Got the Hornet, Shuriken, Tempest, Hurricane. Game was a real good one. Lotus, Blood Pack Punisher. Let's give her the Hornet. Pyro magnifier, yes. So wasn't there a pyro? Uh huh. Power. <laughs> Power magnifier for the damn hand cannon as well. Hmm. And I should just give it armor piercing in that. Increase her biotics. Okay. Confirm. Alright, now let's go get that um, prime mark off of Paladin's Moon. Wiping out the Tyrian flee left and right. Come on, Decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Worse. Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch.
bigger ones on Earth. A whole lot of them. Goddess. Of course, friendly and mount. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing. Oh, that's not good. There you go. There's some ammo. Pop that thermal clip. Resupplies. Okay. Where's your CO at? Tibet. There he is. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Vardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General? Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. <laughs> he did. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's going to complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Pasks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Alright, alright. We're going that way first, then the other side. like a marksman rifle. I forgot about that. Alright. Let's get the comm tower back up and running. We can't repair it from this panel. Liara, get Liara, up there and repair it. You can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready to end? Hell yeah. Let's take them.
Do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. Kaboom! Gotta love them tech combos. Get off of James. Roger that. Damn, James, your cooldowns are fucking slow as hell. Okay, you got fortification going. Is there anything back here I could have picked up? A few extra thermal clips wouldn't be that bad. Alright, let's push on. Bombarded here on the goddamn moon. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. You're alive. Hey, good to see an old friend. You should know that. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Leon. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavin Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot, and I trust him. Okay. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. 
Incoming harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Ha <laughs> ha! But before that... Let's get this Turian rebel up and going. Weapon damage, where's that headshot one? Powers, assault rifle. Definitely could do armor piercing rounds. Don't need the squad bonus, headshot bonus. Definitely gotta do overload. Chain, uh, let's go for damage. Incapacitate weaker organic enemies for a shorter duration or let's do your recharge speed. Chain, definitely chain overload. Bump up uh, concussion shots. Increase force and damage to frozen targets by 100%. Hmm. Tend to switch on cryo rounds if I do that. Power concussion shots with the properties of the acted armor power or ammo power and they to burn, freeze, disrupt, warp, or pierce armor. Oh yeah. Ha imagine having a piercing concussion shot with the armor piercing one rounds. Get the Avenger. James, you ready? James, that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen. Turian Reapers. I say the nay.
All right, select quick save. Is there a button to holster your weapon? Ace the run. Wrong button. Shepard, hmm. come in. Go ahead. Still trying I don't to think the Primark, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Get to the barricade. Don't get cocky over there. Okay, come on. They're on the Get back on the turret. Damn, a little rusty with the damn turrets. Holy hell. What is that thing? It's an abomination, that's what it is. Goddamn brutes. How far? Should be pretty quick unless we find trouble. Oh, we always find trouble, Garrus. We always do. Took out a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Holy crap. 
Those fighters aren't even making a dent. About to have some action. Look at Palamon. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. Are you putting up a good fight? For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, you might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Is there a way to prepare for the Reapers? Just New York. It's gonna Old be place. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking victims to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice at some point. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of there us goes another frigate. Alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Sigmund? Half hour ago. No. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. left of them and the Krogan have never forgiven us for the genophage right Turians sterilized them Salarians came up with it and the Krogan hate them both for it so they won't be joining us too bad I fought with the Krogan they're tough sons of bitches <laughs> they are tough son of a bitches if you ever caught that anime movie from the what was it Paragon Lost that starred uh, Senor James back there. Real good anime to watch. Yeah, I think he, that's where he fights with a against a Krogan. Uh, that sounds bad. Some okay, uh, I think it was a tech on this from me. Horizon, right where he was stationed. God, they love to toss freaking grenades. Oh, no, no, no. I'm in cover, you goddamn son of a bitches.
been a brutal fight for these guys. Oh, the tide's turning. Turn up the heat. Where's the other ones? clip Ah, General Victus, I finally found you. General Victus? Yes. I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Our uh, commander, I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. War Carey, summit. Where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primal. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. It make you seem reckless when you're anything but. To me, that sounds what we, what we need right now to fight the Reapers. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without Never say goodbye, him, say farewell. We lose this Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Nuke it. Sec officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting.
Sorry, have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. <laughs> don't call don't call back when your freaking planet's Sarah, being destroyed. Uh, Hacky, please give me some good news. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes. yes sir, but the Asari are staying on the sidelines. As you usual. Regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy is just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. <sighs> damn, damn, damn. Got the 7 9 fleet. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. <laughs> Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. 
real blood if we don't try. When you put it that way. Yep. So we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, <sighs> I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Our things on Palavan. The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. Damn. Fifteen thousand years of civilization gone. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. <laughs> Is Edie playing with a goddamn robot body again? drink. Oh, the wall of remembrance. Yeah, of course should be over here. Well, I could change those, reassign powers. Chocolate. Everything okay? That's what I'm going to find out. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. Follow Joker, your lead. what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard. Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, 
Are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that degree. <laughs> uh, Edie and that sexy robot body. just walked by. Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. Well said, Dr. Chalkwas. Well said. I couldn't say it any better myself. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Well, I think this is a perfect time to do rounds around the ship. Love the witty banter from these characters. <laughs> Open up the main battery. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. But no friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so, is this the part where we... shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions, or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. I haven't forgotten our time together. 
Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't... That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know if... I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross species and... No? It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title, along with the token task force, so I'd shut up. How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough, and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, we're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper, remember I took the kill shot. <laughs> Something else you want to talk about? That's all well, let's see what the other uh, characters have. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Deal. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. Glyph! You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Armor mod kit. Let's see what I can get. Shield strength, ammo capacity. I yeah, definitely need the ammo capacity. All right, Liara, what do you have here? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data. For you. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. 
It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? Now she's ready hooking up with Garrus. A lot has happened since then, Lehara. I don't think we'd work anymore. Really? I... Thank you for letting me know. I think it's best for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway... I should get down to business. There's a lot to do if we're to discover exactly what the Protheans left us. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Protheans? Very little. Decoding them will require... It's that high I'd have killed... So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Ferron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The that bloom from the monitor, man. Information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Please enjoy your day. All right, we talked to Glyph. Liara, Garrus. Mm. Deck of cards. Looks like life support's still life support in here. Anybody in the crew quarters I could talk to? Nope. Let's see who's down in engineering now other than Adams. Wonder my space hamsters down here. What up? <sighs> Her 
perfect timing. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy, or... Engineer Adams. I was put in charge of the drone. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. And about that, Cerberus... How so? Back when you got... I refused. I didn't have your back. Jessica's mic. Pretty much. I noticed you. Hopefully that's the I E and that. All in all, I I man. <sighs> I'll be right back.
Sorry for that short delay. You gotta love it when, uh, when you're the only ones able to carry all the fucking groceries in the house. <laughs> I kid you not. My sister and my mother just barely got here. They dump all the groceries, told me to put all that shit away, and left. Left. And they always ask, well, I'm the lazy motherfucker. I'm the one that puts all the things away. I'm the one that keeps everything together. <sighs> Hell, I'm trying my best to get this YouTube team going so I could support them better. And they give me the fucking stick. I'm going to talk to the dog. Hey there. K9. Okay, no weapon upgrades. I want to change my loadouts. What up, Jay? You there? I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah. Doing my Let's Play. I finally made it to Mass Effect 3. It's been a long road. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully by Monday. Because of the midnight release, I gotta go there and pick up my hard copy. Hard copy for the win! Man, just playing this is just bringing up like so many awesome memories. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply mm -hmm. chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in. What are you playing? In Commander. There's so much to be done. I Jay, do you have the EA early access thing? He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega. <laughs> or is that Mr. Vesa talking? Uh, to you? So what's happening with our supply chains? I wish I, I could get the EA the early the access thing. Are in chaos. So are you playing the story or are you doing like uh the multiplayer? When I network to a new store I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies there. So you're my shuttle so, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Nice much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly... Uh, I've been alright, hanging in in there. It's kind of tough to do a... Uh, um... A let's play yesterday, because... <laughs> I say horrible fucking timing. Because, uh... No, because uh, the last thing we was to do is to launch the suicide mission, and before that was the Normandy crash site. And <laughs> if you see my let's play, you can see it like in the in the, in the corner of my camera. And you can see me kind of choking up a little here and there. Oh no, it's it's nice to talk to somebody right now. I'm still doing the the thing. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. I wonder if I get if I get the early access now, how long is the download? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. <laughs> what 
happened to the M44 Hammerhead? I, I kind of wanted to do that, just pay the five, then cancel. But I thought you had to wait like a month to cancel or something like that. Design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to Just pay for a month. Those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT forty. Yeah, I should have done it. Should have done it. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. I noticed you read. What about you, Delta? Did you pay for the early access to play? That's why you need a good pilot. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, Commander. It's, it's just like paying five dollars for a damn demo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, boss. So, that Turian's on board now, no? That and Edie's got herself a shiny robot body. What? <laughs> she got that Cerberus bot and took it over. You're shitting me. Oh, you mean they moved it? Not. Huh. You down here for a reason? Or are you just looking? the memes do <sighs> I did I watched some of it I caught the end the multiplayer reveal yeah Yeah, basically they showed off um, uh, information, the five maps that are going to be at launch. Uh, I think it's 24 character kits for all the classes. And then, you know, Vanguard and Infiltrator, there's 24 you could choose from. Uh, no, the multiplayer for Mass Effect 3. Oh, it... Just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. I think I did watch it, but I can't remember what they showed. I have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. No, because right now I'm in like in Mass Effect mode. I'm trying to do the the, I'm doing the playthrough and all that, reference all this stuff. I just had to like switch over my notes and I don't actually. uh I from the live stream. Personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well. Basically, they just showed off what's new at the tower, and, and talk at the same time. Um, you know when you uh, go to the map and check stuff? Um, they, they just added something new to the map. And you know how the, you have the Night Falls of Strikes and all that? They have like the, the weekly and the daily story thing, and there's like, oh, they also added... Um, Level 42, 390 light level of uh, Challenge of the Elders. Oh, I can dance. So there's, uh, I think the, uh, what was it, the Crucible, the Story, and uh, I think the Trial of the Elders. Those are the three that you could get the Triumphs box. Uh, oh, yeah? What else? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. 
protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. The intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. Uh. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. <laughs> You shrink too? No. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe get dropped, James. Get dropped. But if you're half as good as I think you are. We need you alive. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. You having tough time hitting the barn? <laughs> it goes Rika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have fun in the after cryo sleep, man. Cause I wanted to do that for like an EA thing. Commander. EA. Yeah. Up here. I can no, enjoy waking up after cryo sleep. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Yeah. Edie is a huge asset to this team. <laughs> no, the shit hits the fan right as soon as you I'm freaking get out. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friends. Andromeda? I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though. I found something <laughs> while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom you got any pizza Delta? <laughs> the Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than normal schools. It's like hearing in like little work. tidbit videos. I, I know what happens in like the first three hours. In the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has alliance. I know I've been watching be videos and the the live stream they did with the multiplayer. What the graphics are insane. The evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But Definitely. Off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She Fix said what? The Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, 
Whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Then watch what you say, man. I'm the god of all things. <laughs> Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. <laughs> It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, <laughs> flying the ship. Flying the ship over What's here. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions, Jeff Boyce? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Very well. And the problem, man. I was about to tell you, screenshot all the weapons that you can. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love that part. Yes, Shepard. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct.
look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. You don't Bang, but it's clear. I want to learn. And what was that, Jay? How's the new I'm trying to open it up it on my phone. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't Edie likes things. Preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. <laughs> so that's your writer? you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out in the airlock. Mm, no. What's that show about? In the ghetto. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there, needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> might need something calibrated. Alright, it's a look in Purgatory, me, a Spectre, Ashley Williams. 
from center block. Dr. Bison, why does that name sound familiar? <laughs> that would be great. Don't hurt me anymore. Oh, it's no more? <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Alright, Garrison. Oh, Gar Garrison. Gruesome Academy. Prothean Artifact. You know what? Let's get the Prothean Artifact first. I could put him in the face. I think that's free fuel. You see how far is where the hell's Asgard? <laughs> don't don't get started with the custom camels, man. It's a trap. Reapers eluded. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Did you put it in the chat? 
So you. I'll take those pictures later. <laughs> nah, cause I'm building that uh, arcade uh, tabletop machine. Dad's will ask me for some reference photos. I'm like, they're on their phone. I wish you could be OP as me. Bank plop plop. You know, it's funny, earlier, I'm like, a little bit past an hour into the stream, and like, my sister and my mom show up, like, they got groceries, they literally drop them off, and left. Left me to put everything away. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major No, 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 basically, come help, I'm like, alright, dropped everything, went out there. So it was like a good, I don't know, again. seven minutes of <laughs> fucking just me standing in the in the damn uh, <laughs> engineering <laughs> fifth floor in there. Like, God damn. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. Sometimes I find it hard to believe you were ever in Sleepwalk. I wanted to help people. Fortunately, you showed me how to use the direct approach. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. 
the Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus. Is Red still playing uh, Legend of Zelda? Survivors will do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the oh, really? device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Sailor. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirt. We, we can see it as a war zone. Prawn doesn't deserve this. Nobody <coughs> does. Got it. As you wish. Is it true that to bring up the weapon wheel, it's select? Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. So, Liara, ever dug up, uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. This Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Pizza. <laughs> Was it like day five of the pizza? Day six? It's not a Prothean artifact. It's... Was it on the pizza? <laughs> Like was it? We found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past fifty thousand years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans, the people, not the technology? Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. This could be what we need to finish the Prothean device. I hope so. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. 
Ah, Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. <laughs> Toaster. <laughs> Currently, no. <laughs> I got bitches in different states and different countries too, man. Far as goes is to Australia. <laughs> uh <laughs> And the land down under, yeah, it's pretty fucking dangerous. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, you need more kills. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. <laughs> Did you scan stuff with your multi tool? You scan stuff with your multi tool yet? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Did you bust a uh, Han Solo shoot first questions later type of thing? I forgot how badass cryo rounds were. It's just a holographic box on your arm, similar to the old one, but the old one. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime well, I know. A real I think I heard rumors, the or there's like modded Omni tools that will make it look different. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Why are they shooting it? Bob the Builder, can we do it? Found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Well, you, well, most of the items you pick up are, they go in your inventory, salvage, stuff you could transfer for credits back on the Nexus or on the Horizon. Was it Horizon for the Ark, for the humans? And stuff to um, create more stuff. Yeah. Have you landed on EOS? Oh, you're on Habitat 7, then.
You got hit by lightning. can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. If it ain't broke, don't fix. Mm. Lucky me, I gotta wait until 2 fucking a.m. Fucking time change. them back. Where's that other turret? Oh, 
Cerberus is studying it to find the civilization <laughs> signal. Take it easy, Viking. Take it easy. Mm-hmm. That one too. Yeah, I've got the signal Gosh. up in the pod. Backup forces are here. I don't know. You don't have a uh... Ami gel in your radius menu? Alright, um, find an ammo box and you usually could get some health from those. This Lero! Yeah, that's like the only gripe people have been saying about it. How come they couldn't keep the radial menus with the shoulder button? I'm doing good with the sniper, because when I first play I'm going to go infiltrator mode on that shit. You running Sentinel build? Whoa, whoa. I heard there's like no crouch button, but moving into cover is like seamless. You can just walk up to it and your character does it automatically. Is it true? Take a few moments for the life pod to process it. 
Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Now what's B then, if melee's Y? Oh, that's the evade then. Old school layout, new school. I'm doing a lot more headshots now. Yeah, you could do it on the Tempest. I thought it changes as soon as you change it. Okay, I fell right there. The one in the gut. Looks like we got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. I could use some fresh clips. Had the light pod ended stasis mode. We're almost there. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Battle rolls. Heavy mech, don't let it get close. <laughs> it looks like you gotta finish the mission. Right Alright, you take it easy, Jay. In a little while. Time to fully regain consciousness. Yeah, be there in a moment. B 
Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? <sighs> yes. Now that I have read your physiology. I don't know what the fuck's system. going on anymore. Not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Some people can't <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna get started. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've uh, never seen a force like the Reapers. So, hey, say we want to get over there in the me uh, a few minutes. Could you hear it on the mic? Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. The winter is coming. What's the problem? I tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? 
All life provides clues for those who can read them. <laughs> your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yeah. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <laughs> communication is still primitive. We pieced together what we could. The what? Then I take it you don't know anything. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled, but only when the last reaper has been. Those who share my purpose become allies. Nothing in our... Stand in it. But I will help, and the last thing to read. If you don't mind, I have... I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species. It was common. That's so... We evolved as hunters. We beginning to... Things like... Yes. I can still sense the turmoil in you. We... When I was born... You. They weren't given a choice. We've had the same problem. We could not allow the machines. Did it work? For a time. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us. Through. No. Thanks for talking with me. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time... Now <laughs> the really? The human, There's also the Solar. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. And welcome aboard. <laughs> so they burned three mil to destroy a two hundred dollar quad or oh, no. <laughs> drone quadter. Wow. 